Tara Lynn with Five Acres Honey Farm. We just picked up some topsoil and now I'm about to cover the crazy cemetery of cardboard here at the pond. All right, I just worked for an hour on this. I was planning on just doing as much as I could before dark and I'll finish the rest in the morning, but I've got a pretty good deal of it done. Just got the chickens away for the evening. I'm gonna go take a look at the quail and the bees before closing up for the night. A bit of a disappointing update over here. As you can see, the far hive, the, which is the one that had the queen that had about 20 bees left with her that I tried to give a few more frames of bees to, it did not make it through the cold weather. So I just left this out for the other bees to rob. Um, today it was about 60 degrees. So yeah, most of these, these are pretty empty in here. And so it'll be below freezing tonight. And yeah, you can see empty, empty. And uh, I'll just come back out here early tomorrow morning and put both of these boxes in the freezer. So it wasn't that the hive didn't have any food in there. Those, those frames, about half those frames were solid full of nectar yesterday. So the other hives definitely had a chance to rob it out. But that, that hive and the other one that had been on the end both had really high mite counts. So I wasn't expecting them to to, you know, make it through the winter pretty well. But let's see what the little quail are up to. They are so cute. And definitely need to put these clips on because I don't want to get stuck in this coop again. <laughs> I will need to put the phone down to put them away. They are getting exceedingly expert at uh, avoiding getting put away in their cottage every night. Good night. I was just about to thank you for watching and to remind you, I post new videos every Sunday, Monday and Friday, and I'm out of breath because I just saw a coyote out this window and I just chased after it and hopefully scared it with a broom. And my husband just made a joke and asked if I was gonna fly away. On the broom <laughs> so i um i had to think quick because i didn't have my shoes nearby and stuff so i just threw whatever i had nearby on and i ran up um to the ridge and just chased basically the air because i kind of lost sight of it um, but i know that they they do kind of patrol in packs too and we have heard them before and i heard something yelping just earlier, but I thought it was a neighbor's dog, uh, but it's now something we need to be more vigilant about. And um, definitely it was good that I just put all the animals away because that was like just minutes apart from, from the sighting. Thank you for watching.